I see Xavier, look at me eating food on a table while I'm sitting here all beaten to hell by hunting an alpaca. Yep, we've got to put Clog to rest in this episode, unfortunately. And we got to make some progress, but I'm super excited because I feel like we're going to make progress. That being said, we got four people in the colony. We got four bedrooms and one medical bed. I might want to make just another couple of beds at some point. Why don't I throw them in right now so I don't forget about it? Oh, I guess here and there. <laughs> what a stupid little room that is. So I'm hoping this episode to smooth this out so everyone's happy in there. Swede as well. Uh, maybe we should smooth this side. This this might take a long time. Oh, yeah, look at this. Mooflet right here is showing us how long it's going to take. A very long time. Very long time. A little high five there from Swede and Mooflet as they walk by. Uh, but I did decide here, I planned in a little bit of a mausoleum type place where we're going to have a huge gate, a dwarven gate that comes in here. We're going to have like lava flows and whatnot. And then the giant pathway. Maybe we could put some like statues or pillars everywhere. Uh, and then these little things over here will be like the tombs where we can lay to rest Clog and Aloysius on either side. Then we can expand this later and make it kind of windy. This entire area can be where we bury everybody. Uh, for now, though, we're nowhere near being able to do that. So let's throw in something very simple for the time being. How about a sarcophagus? Why don't we make this out of limestone? Because dwarves aren't going to live in no wood, that's for sure. And I'm thinking for now... Let's, this is this is temporary. Aloysius' gravesite is also temporary. Everything's temporary, basically. I'm thinking right next to the forge. You know, Clog, he would have liked to have uh, died how he lived. Just sitting next to the forge all day long. So we'll throw that in. And uh, between episodes, I checked all the mods. Nothing really has been updated, unfortunately. I was really hoping the round tables mod would get updated, but... I just, I, I love those round tables. These, ah, the dwarven tables look pretty cool, though. They have these little markings and whatnot. So I guess we can stick with that. Ooh, hey, Titan. How's it going? Wow, Mooflet's been in there like all day and has only done like two levelings of floors. I'm actually curious. Let's take a look here at her. Her construction is going up. Wow, but look how slow it goes up. Even when she's interested. Well, the thing is, yeah, because someone had mentioned in the last episode's comments that you can train your construction skill by just doing tons of floors and walls, tons of smoothing, and that's definitely true. But it's going so slow and nothing else in the colony is getting done, so I'm not sure if that's smart or not. Anyway, uh, between episodes, I read about the breads and the uh, the roots, rather. So these... Oh, oh, a Dwarven blacksmith is passing by from the Dwarven Hill Clans. She is named Nos. Hey, Nos. What's up? What do you think about getting uh, forced into our colony, eh? Night Owl and the... She's... <laughs> Hold on. Look at this dwarf, friends. She loves the melee. She loves construction. She likes the animals. It's freaking crazy at crafting. Crazy. Loves the medicine. This is the best dwarf I've ever seen. She is a female hill dwarf guard of dwarven hill clans. Now, I could arrest her. What are the dwarven hill clans going to say about this? Do I hate them or do I love them? Is this them down here? This is the Dwarven Hill Clans. Neutral plus three. Hmm. How much will they hate me if I knock out their little dwarf Nos over here? And then we capture her. Oh, by the way. Looking at... Oh, wait, never mind. She's a, a female here. I see. I see. Um, I was just looking at... I was just thinking about who this character is going to be in the future. Because uh, I have some names here. But unfortunately... It's not going to be who I think it's going to be. Anyway, hmm, is this worth it? And if so, how would I even make it happen? And can we do any recruiting? Let's check our wardening skill. Mooflet's the highest. She's got an 11. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. We're going to do it, friends. We are going to do I hope this doesn't screw us over, but this is too good of a dwarf. We need a blacksmith very badly. Very badly. Well, how do I do this? Let's throw in a quick um, sleeping spot. Where would I put this? I, you know what? I don't really need this room down. It's disgustingly awful, but I don't really need it. Uh, then again, I will need this room. I suppose we're just going to have to make it in this room because I don't have any other option. Let's throw it in there. Beautiful. Let's grab this. Let's make that for prisoners. Let's get the whole colony on alert here, friends, and go greet this. Well, we don't have to greet her yet because she's going to come up here. We can greet her when she gets into that area, I suppose. Uh, and then Mooflet, actually, you know what? I think the smarter plan right now, let's get this construction... 
smooth floors. Put that on a five and a five. Yeah, because we want to make sure we're cleaning ahead of everything else because we need to keep uh, need to keep the colony clean. Okay, so one of the other things I was talking about is I need to switch over here. So honey root is actually how you make dwarven mead. What we need is tons of food over here. Honey root, hot plant, earth bread. Let's do that all earth bread. This is all earth bread as well. I was thinking I can wall this in and actually heat it uh, for the winter because I was realizing between episodes, it's going to be it's going to be cold enough that we're going to have to worry about that. I think. You guys have weapons and whatnot? Mooflet does, Swede does, Kraus does. I do. Everybody has weapons, yeah. So this is going to be dicey. Let's grab this thing here and delete that. We don't want that anymore. Mooflet's cleaning up. Okay, guys, let's go. Everybody on alert. Let's get up there. Mufla is so unhappy right now. What's the deal with her mood? Observe rotting corpse times five. That should go away in four hours, though. And I think we've buried them all. Eight raw food. Greedy for impressive bedroom. Darkness. Exposed to paranoid ramblings. Observe corpse. Eight without a table. Disturb sleep. Call it a stack. So many things. Oh, she had a good dream, though. She had a good dream. God, Mufla's going to go on a mental break in like zero seconds. Hey, no... Sorry to do this to you, friend, but we need a blacksmith. Hey, look, she's saying hello. She's like, yes, greetings, greetings, fellow dwarf. Never mind us. We're all here for friendly times. Friendly times is why we're here. Uh, surprise! Damn it. Relations with dwarf and hill clans have changed from 3 to negative 28 because we attacked notes. Relations with dwarf and hill clans have changed from negative 28 to negative 71. Because Nos has died. Well, whoopsie daisy. I thought that would be smart. It wasn't. That's unfortunate. What an amazing character Nos would have been. Now the Dwarven Hill Clans hate me. Well, just one more people to hate me, I suppose. What is this thing on the ground I'm looking at? Oh, is that actually no? So we can just leave her out there. I think she can rot. How's this um this axe? Ooh, 95%. Sweet. You wanna come? Oh, you're actually hauling the shield back? Mufa, you wanna well, no, she's she's in a bad way. Let's have me come over here. I can equip that axe. No. Someone will haul it eventually. Let's just let things go here. Well, I tried my best. I really wanted another character, but we're not gonna get one. Kraus, what are you up to? You're gonna plant in here. I'm I'm hoping Mooflet cleans, gets people's moods up. Kraus makes it a little bit prettier. Cutting tall grass, yeah. Oh, speaking of the tall grass, so down here I had planted hops. We're actually not going to do that. I think we might do more heel root or maybe hay, actually. Let's do hay grass down there. Although I might need more heel root on it. Eh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. You know what? For now, we're just going to pause it anyway because I want to go get the food growing. We've only got six meals right now. Mooflet's doing a good job cleaning up. Kraus, what are you up to? You're coming up here. Cued riding to job. Oh, Wow, that's a big ride. But luckily we have an alpaca up there. Wonderful. What was I doing up here? Consuming a simple meal. Is there any more of these animals? I'm sad that I made enemies with the Dwarven Hill Clans. Maybe I'll try to make restitution with them somehow. If I get an opportunity to like a peace talks or something, I'll actually do it for the first time ever. Let's look around and grab some of these berries really quick. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Let's harvest all those guys. Between those berries and these uh, alpacas, I think we'll be okay on food for a little while. Not a very long while, mind you. Sweet, you all right? Yeah, he's just getting tended to. Did Sweet actually get hut a cut there? Right leg bruise from a Dwarven battle axe. That's unfortunate. I guess when you down someone, there is a 66% chance they're going to be knocked out. There wasn't... Um, I guess we could have tried to arrest them, actually. That probably would have been the smart move. Let's delete this bed. Trying to arrest them might have worked. And then they wouldn't also have died. I didn't think about it. It's been a long time since I played. Hmm. Unfortunate. All right, well, what are you going to do? Let's get this planning thing off here. And now... What's the important things to do? I'm not sure. Probably focus on moods here a little bit. What can we actually fix? We can't fix the greedy for impressive bedroom. We are fixing the awful barracks. Kind of. We put some flowers in and we're smoothing everything. The pigs and everything. You know what, you guys, you want to you go out to the animal zone? Where do you actually belong? We don't really need you over here anymore. Hopefully, they can eat up some of this grass and whatnot. And then stop making a huge, terrible mess. Turbo Pig looks like he's going to get murdered here. You know what I'm thinking? Turbo, let's spare you because you have a name. Let's kill Pig 1. There we go. That'll give us a whole bunch more food on top of everything else. 
All right, well, whoa, whoa, tantrum on Kraus. He's gonna smash up things from the unsightly environment. We're doing the best we can, Kraus. We really are. Awful barracks exposed to rambling for a day. Unsightly environment. I'm working on it. Corpse and six hours. Disturbed sleep. Disturbed sleep. Eight without a table. Witness outsider's death. Okay, here's here's one thing I can do about the tables, right? Let's throw in a stockpile zone over here. Beautiful. Grab that. Clear it all. Priority. Critical. Meals. At least then, every time they get a meal, they should be near a table. So, hopefully that helps out. Now, this honey root over here, we can actually turn that into mead. So, what we need to do is make a brewery first. I suppose we can put it down in here. Or I could put it up here. Nah, let's put it down there for now. It's all temporary. And fermenting barrels mead. Mmm. Not sure where to put these. Maybe, uh, probably, probably here and here. Ooh, yes, beautiful. I like it. Oh, we need to get this thing done over here as well, because Clog needs to get buried. And then maybe everyone will get a slight mood buff. You know, Mooflet is the best, um, she is the best. Her recreation is going up. Let's have her to work on that really quick. That sarcophagus. Kraus, I hope you don't break too many things out there, buddy. Yeah, you're not going to break a steel door. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> That's the best thing you could possibly be trying to smash. <laughs> Never going to get through that. Kraus is no longer having a tantrum. Beautiful. And we're looking good. Tattered apparel on me. I'm the only one. What is it? My... Ooh, my battle axe, actually. And they just dropped a new one I can go equip. So maybe that'll get rid of... Uh, oh, well, my, I'm going to need new pants soon as well. Do I have these things set up properly? Oh, here we go. Don't look every... Ah, yes, this is what someone else was telling me in the comments. Look in stockpile zone... Oh, look everywhere still only looks in all the stockpiles. So, yeah, that's that's actually what I do want. But I want to cut this threshold off at, like, 52. Beautiful. Uh, any worker take the best stockpile. Awesome. Same thing on the tunic. We already did that. It's at 55. We'll drop it down to 52. Look everywhere still only looks in stockpiles. It doesn't look on, like, the random ground. All right, now... Let's make sure Mooflet here is going to work on some of these things. The answer is currently no. So we'll get her on a tailoring on, let's say, six. And a smithing on a seven. And a mining will drop it back down to an eight. Antisocial on Mooflet. Oh, we were so close. <laughs> we were so close. What's going on in here? Oh, am I getting patched up from all that alpaca? Whew, that alpaca hunting. That stuff's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Well, at least uh, Mooflet will now have Catharsis for a little while. And then hopefully after that, we'll be back in the game. I'm going to go Butcher. Actually, we still have six meals, but still, that's not a bad idea. Okay, now it says I'm Butcher. Oh, because I'm bringing it to the right place. Oh, we don't necessarily want that. Let's come down here and change this Butcher to drop on floor. Okay, so by default, I was bringing it all the way over there. Now it's salted, which means it lasts for 30 days, but sweet is immediately turned. That is really cool. So we have a way to store our meat for a little bit longer. 30 days versus one day seems like a huge benefit, though. Um, so let's quickly come over here and grab... At least we got an axe out of this deal, right? And if I want to, I could also strip off her Longbeard Dwarf chain coat. It is 63%. Should be tattered, but I'm not sure. Hmm, how do I even find this out? Can I hit I? Yeah, it is tattered. There we go. Because I know the Medieval mod doesn't have, like, when people died, the things they dropped weren't tattered. There we go. Much better. So our tattered, I'm still having it probably because my pants are ruined now. Oh, they're at 50%, yeah. My armor is fine. 299 out of 325. There we go. Actually, the helmet is down pretty low. Okay. Well, Mooflet stopped being antisocial, which is great. Hopefully, she cleans up pretty quick. We're butchering for days. Swede's making meals. We got 13 of those guys. Someone was just cruising around on Titan. I didn't see who it was. Ooh, this looks like it's done. Can I uh, build the bounded roof area? Yeah, all of these, these walls here got done. Remove roof hitter. Yeah, we don't really need that there. Or just ignore it either way. Beautiful. Yeah, I would like to heat this for the winter. So in order to do that, I'm thinking a strong door here and a lame door there. But this is going to take a ton of work. Thank you, Swede. And maybe just for now, I should come in and plant it, honestly. Kraus, what are you up to? Just taking a nap. Now you're going to go sow the area of dandelions. 
for all the, the pigs and whatnot. Hey, we got some corn down there. That's not bad. What's Mooflet up to? Bolt Goods Trader from the Woodland Domain of the Elves. Wonderful. Mooflet's actually pretty good at this. Look at that. You just crank that out. Awesome. Someone needs to get up there. It's going to have to be Kraus. He's the planter. Wow. Look at these. Oh, they have husses. They have husses for days. I don't know. I want them badly. Horse of Woodland Domain Elves, age three. Doesn't say the gender of the horse, though. Healthy horse. I guess we'll see in a few seconds here. Mooflet, if you wouldn't mind to potter lang with our good friends, the elves. I shouldn't attack that, that nose dwarf. That was bad. Oh, look at this. Female, male. Wow. Male age three, female age three. Yoink! We've got horses, friends. Because, you know, dwarves can definitely get on top of a horse to ride it. What can we sell the... Wow, Devil Strand Freelancer's Tabard, Waterborne Shield Belt. That would be amazing for melee dwarves. Really desperately wants. Look at all these cool things. Limestone Schmodertige Sculpture of who knows who. I can actually change it with the mod, but I want to make those. Uh, oh, look at this. Iron Elf Crown. Bird Skins Phalathrim Elf Armor. I like this one. Iron Dwarf King's Crown. I want... Th 1648 can't afford it salted hobbit meat <laughs> you elves <laughs> oh god why did i find that so funny that's just amazing though salted hobbit meat i basically can't sell these guys anything and i'm negative a thousand i could give him one of my bigs i mean i do i do have a ton of them right let's sell him one of the oldest females it's a hundred dollars god that's not very good though Hmm, I need both the horses. I could sell them some steel. We can always make more. I mean, there's a lot of it around, and we can mine really fast. That brings us down to almost enough. Of course, all of our steel's gone. I could sell all the leather, too. Well, it's actually hard for us to... Yeah, who cares? It's hard for us to get it. But... Because we have to melee hunt. But let's do this. Then I'm going to sell 40 steel. We'll keep the rest. We'll sell all our planes leather. We'll buy ourselves a couple of husses. And now we're talking. Let's train those houses in obedience and get them into the hus farm. Beautiful. I'm assuming I can ride them around. The reason I wanted to buy those, well, first of all, they can start trading. Um, or not trading. They can start creating new ho horses. It's really hard for me to pronounce horse. Horse the correct way. But uh, once they start producing more, then, God, we'll be in business. Like, as far as having things to ride. Oh, look at this. The husses by the water, friends. Look at this amazing but the real benefit here is once we get these guys trained up we can then cut down on the hauling time because another one of the comments from the last episode was that the base is too spread out so everyone's running all over the place and i'm well aware of that but you know that was just going to be one of the challenges is building a giant ridiculously huge base even though we're little stubby like dwarves so uh this will cut down on things a lot when we can ride if we get like a, t a whole everybody basically riding one animal back and forth that'll be amazing by the way look at these guys huh lorian stags things look incredible they're like a little too brown they're like hot fluorescent brown but beyond that though they look really really cool plus they can haul it's amazing anywho's uh let's let's see what i need to do here so kraus what are you up to first of all you are hauling Clog, the Dwarfin blacksmith. Oh, thank you, Kraus. I didn't even think about it. Clog has been buried, friends. The sarcophagus is engraved with an artwork of a tremendous gray fireball blazing across the sky. Two figures prepare tools and equipment. This illustration tells the story of a meteorite falling near Clog's town on 10th of Drugus, 5500. Clog with green. Well, someday, Glog, will move you to a more suitable place. Uh, but until that day, you're going to have to, I suppose, just hang out. Oh, by the way, this brewery needs iron. I didn't even realize that. Okay, well, you know what? It's time, friends. Mine the ores. Swede, what are you up to? You've been cooking meals like a champ. But you know what? That's not that important. We need you to start mining things for us. Oh, you know what, Swede? What are you doing? Cooking them? Just haul all the meat, you doofus. And grab one meat. There we go. Now, Swede should be doing our 
mining. What was that noise? Was that the sloth? That was a weird noise. So what am I going to be doing? Because I could be doing cooking for sure. I have an 11 cooking skill. Swede's cooking skill is 4. So I'm probably the better cook, honestly. Uh, yes, this is a very good question. Swede, you know what? Why don't we actually just kick you straight out of cooking? Just let me do it and have you go do the mining. Because that's what we really need here. We need some mining like the winds. There we go. Ooh, that's like the wind, all right. That is like, now I'm the one doing the cooking. I'm getting the base repaired here. Beautiful. Sweet is fully healed. Awesome. I'm no, nowhere near fully healed. Boy, hunting the alpacas is crazy. Mooflet, smoothing the floors. That's actually good. That means the whole base is clean now. So that's nice to see. We get an ambrosia sprout. Ooh, right near the base. I could actually wall this in and have ambrosia if I wanted to make like a little walled thing here. Uh, and connect it to this, whatever this is. The problem is it would look really ugly. So I might just not do that. Plato has given birth. Ah, uh, yes, friends. We've got our little piggy wiggies. Amazing. Oh, look at this one. It's even smaller. No, it's the same size. I'm just blind. So many pigs. I wonder if these guys are going to start starving soon. Probably. Uh, now, let's take a look at Tattered Apparel still on me. Mooflet, you're doing construction of smoothing floors. Let's find out why. Smooth Floors is on a five. I see. So that's going to take priority over all this other stuff. Let's bump tailoring up to a five. Smooth Floors down to a six like normal. And smithing up to a six. So at the very least, we're going to be do tailoring first. I really want to make uh, more pants and whatnot. Then again, don't didn't I just sell all my leathers? <laughs> I did. I absolutely sold every single piece of leather, and now we've got none, so I can't even make pants. All right, well, this is a very simplistic let's play. Just trying to get a pair of pants. That's it. Keep it simple. Maybe I can make it happen. We got 57 ingredients, and we got 52 ingredients. What kind of wildlife? <gasps> gazelles. Maybe I should go out on a big hunt and get all the gazelles. Yes. 100. Ooh, there's Ibex over here. <gasps> okay, town emergency. Everyone, a come. Let's make sure we've all got weapons, 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 and weapons. Yes, this is beautiful. Let's hunt all these guys. Hunt all you guys. They're all so close to each other. This is going to be perfect. Sad that I had made enemies with my good friends, the Dwarven Hill Clans. <laughs> Desperation. She was such a good character. Uh, I wish I had thought to try to arrest her, though. That would have been smarter. All right, once the whole colony gets here, we're going to thwap these guys all together at the same time. Solar Flare is ending. The elves are leaving. We're all in position and thwap! Beautiful work, guys. Thwap them. Oh, yeah. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. This is how dwarves hunt, friends. Ibex stole revenge. Uh, that took a little bit more effort than I would have liked. Wow, that was a nice chop there, Kraus. Really good work. Okay, we're all missing. <laughs> Everyone misses. This is so ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Imagine dwarves just running out swinging axes all in the fields. <laughs> Bunch of short, stubby folks trying to hunt deer. Oh, boy. This is just ridiculous. Yeah, they can't even hit the deer. The deer can't hit us. What a mess. God, this is... Act Come on, guys. We brought the whole colony out here for a reason. All right, let's get everybody off alert. Let's take a look now at the wounds we suffered. We got one bite on Mooflet. Swede got a bite. God, these gazelles and their bites, huh? Left kidney? Gazelle, okay. Kraus got kicked in the kidney. And I got bitten in the ear. <laughs> I'm so short. The thing just bit me in the ear. Okay, well, there you go. That's actually amazing. Are you guys going to bring some of these guys back? Let's prioritize hauling that. Beautiful haul that. Beautiful Kraus, you want to come over here? Finish off the Ibex dough. That's the only one that appears to not be dead already. I love how they've added the finish off to the or the game by default. Let's have you haul that. Awesome. And then me, when I'm done eating for no reason, I'm going to tend to myself in the fields. Okay. Guess we don't have any meds. So that's probably not a bad idea. And then I'm going to go stargazing. You know what? Don't, don't, don't. I just consume the gazelle corpse. Oh, that's right. I won't do any hauling. I had forgotten about that. So now I'm just going to wander instead of stargazing. All right, well, now we've got a whole bunch of things to haul back. That's going to give us all the leathers we need to make shirts and whatnot and a bunch of meat. And if I actually get more of these salted pots, those things are pretty cool. 
They're actually really cool. So once the meats are salted, can we then move them out of it? Is that how it works? So we only need to salt them once? Because if that's the case, I think I could set this up more efficiently. This is salted alpaca meat. I'm actually curious here, so let's take a look at this. Let's try to figure this out. Let's make this not important. Let's make it, like, preferred. Or better yet, let's actually make it low. And then when someone wakes up, which will be probably tomorrow sometime, we can figure out the rest. I should probably bring this girl over to the, the zone. Rarer thrombos. Yeah, we're not going to do anything about that. All right, well, not bad. Titan came in to eat a meal. That's fine. You know what, though? Is it fine? Mm. I, maybe I should forbid him from the meal area so he could just go eat the corpses. <gasps> Do I have the animals set to eat the corpses? I don't. Holy waste of time, Batman. You guys can come over there and eat the corpses. Beautiful. That's what they should have been eating this whole time if they're not already starving. Swede's a major break risk and, believe it or not, has yet to be tended to. Let's get that taken care of. No infections, please. Bonded animal Aloysius died for eight days. He's hungry. We're in a dull batteric minor pain. Unsightly environment. Eight without a table. Colonist died. Disturbed sleep. I'm thinking also it's, it's high time a raid happens. So I should probably work on defenses too, right? Group of travelers from the Shire are passing by. Look at this one. Little Poppy Harlow out there with her red hair. These guys are so dopey though. Um, steel. Okay, yeah. So I was just thinking I got... 151 steel. These traps, what do they take to make? I don't remember. Oh, 30 steel. Beautiful. Let's set some... Let's try to put in some more. We can only really make, like, five. We'll put one. Not... Maybe, like, the, the, the passageway is probably, like, a better place. Two, three. And possibly we, we have them chase us over here. Four or five. Okay. That's going to be all of our steel. We can make more, of course. <gasps> My brewery is done at long last. Beautiful. So because this is done, let's make mead wart, or wart's the normal one. Mead wart's what we want. Do until we have X. I believe you want exactly five, if I remember correctly. Take two best stockpile. Beautiful. So now we should be able to convert all of this stuff into mead wart and then put it in the barrels and make some brew. Some dwarven brew, friends. <gasps> Look at me. Okay, this is what I really wanted to know. I'm cooking a simple meal. I will never do hauling. Okay, never mind. Disease infection on me. Well, hopefully, since I'm a dwarf, I don't have to worry about that. Let's prioritize tending to myself. Looks like I pulled off a 1.7% 10 quality infection in my left ear. I got hit the ear. That stupid deer bit me in the ear. Swede is doing some good work here, putting together all of our traps. We are upping our defenses from two to seven traps. Ibex Doe self-tamed. That would be great for eating. We can actually bring this down to the animal zone, and when we get hungry, we'll just chop them right up. Sweet is now doing compulsion from dull barracks. Well, we're working on that. We've actually made this a little bit better than before, so let's make a couple of these guys medical. Beautiful. We got four beds there for everybody. Disease infection on me. I'm pretty sure as a dwarf, I don't care at all. Yeah, even 1% quality, and I'm still I'm still ahead of the game on the immunity. Really don't care. Kraus, as soon as you're done here, I, oh, bloody hell. I wanted to see what happens with the meat. You know what? Swede's down there. Equip Iron Dwarf Walking Axe. Oh, oh no, it's just it just says it's equipped. Okay. Swede, come over here. Well, I can't right click on the meat, and I don't know why. Swede can definitely haul. I can't right click. I can't right. Oh, he's on compulsion. Okay. What else? If you you're gonna go haul the gazelle down here, could you actually first haul this gazelle meat? I just want to see what this what happens here. Ooh, there's. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Mooflet, you haul that because. Never mind. She just ran off. <laughs> Even though I clicked on it, I'm pretty sure. Oh, poor Krause, he's throwing up all over the place. Krause, no, don't worry about it. all the Ibex. You came all the way down here, Krause. Make it happen. Woo, look at all the delicious food. Krause, stop throwing up on the ground, buddy. Let's get that meat into where it needs to go. So he's going to haul it over here. 
Consuming simple meal, hauling ibex meat. Oh, bloody hell. It's like the fourth, <laughs> the fifth. He's throwing up all over the grave of Aloysia. Poor Kraus. He's got some major food poisoning indeed. All right, now I really need to know. So we're going to haul that. Where? Okay, we're going to haul it here. Let's do this really quick. Let's make this priority critical, Kraus. I could grab you really quick. Okay, this says consume. I actually want to put me in a litter. Let's have Kraus. Oh, I've re... Cannot... No stack to merge into. Okay, well, you know what? We'll just... We'll figure this out some other day, because right now it's just not working, and it doesn't matter too much. Hey, everyone's in here having a good time, though. That's nice. Just having a little chat, getting to know each other. Saying who even knows what. Moofoot's fully healed now. Everyone's seeing eye to eye. Having some high five time. Beautiful. That was a really good little social time there. All right. Well, we got some defenses, so that's nice. I'm curious how long it's going to take me to start working on the mead. You know what I should do is this. Let's actually open up the cooking thing. Uh, I actually have it set lower. So I should put that higher, like a three whenever it does happen. Brew liquors, a cooking. Fill food hoppers, a cooking. I'm not sure what that means. Let's see if I do it right. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to 25 of that honey root, and I'm going to put that into five mead water. Now, if I remember correctly, hauling that into the barrels is actually a haul job. So the cooks fill fermenting barrels, fill fermenting barrels. Yeah. There's two different ones here. I'm not sure which one's which, but let's make... Oh, I can't even... I will never do hauling. Okay, so Swede, you're going to have to do that on like a three to make sure someone always gets it done. And then I'm going to actually put me back to a five because I'm the cook, and then we'll have Swede come over here in a four. Beautiful. And now we'll always have someone doing all that stuff. There's an eclipse. We don't care none about that. Really inefficient having the butcher so far away from the chef. I could I could move it around, but eh. We'll leave it like it is for now. There we go. Swede's getting us that beautiful iron. Although, shouldn't he actually be fulfilling the fermenting? Oh, there we go. Mooflet just did it. Beautiful. We have our very first mead, friends. It's going to take us 10 days to get this going. It contains 5 out of 20. Interesting. Dwarven beater apparently is a little bit different because I'm pretty sure it's 25 on the hops. The dwarven beater, and I think it's seven days. So dwarven beater seems to take longer and you can make less of it at a time, but hopefully it's better. Sweet, for God, that's insane. You madman. Hey, okay. Number one thing we need to do is come plant up here and we need, oh God, there we go. Group of tribes, people from the orange tiger chola. Eight of them. They're going to prepare for a while, then they're going to attack. Looks like one of them, little cheetah here, is riding a wolf. But, oh, look at Lion with that seriously awesome cloak. And Magino? Magiano? Has this super cool looking thing, too. God, everyone looks awesome in this mod. Well, we're going to have to bait them into our little trap area here. And then we just got to kill four of them, which shouldn't be too bad, actually. God, sweet, you're a madman. You're a, literally a madman. Look at you hack this stuff up. I was just about to say, I want to make sure Kraus, what are you what are you doing, Kraus? Okay, you're working on all of these things. Let's forget about this. Let's disallow sewing on all of these things. Yes, because I, I want you more than anything to go sew that area, which you'll do uh, tomorrow. For now, everyone probably needs to get prepared here. Uh, let's get me out of bed. I'm gonna come over here and mount Titan. Rest of you guys get an alert, get into the streets. Swede, we'll let you mine a little bit more since you're such a maniac. He's just so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. He can mine an entire ore thing while we're waiting for a raid. Speaking of, why haven't they begun their raid yet? I'm getting a little bit worried because I've been sitting out here doing nothing. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, where did Titan go? Oh, there he is. Uh, that's a little bit farther away than I would like. But sweet, get an alert. Come up here. Beautiful. These guys are going to be coming in from this direction. Awesome. Kraus, get ready to bait like a champ, like right here. Mooflet maybe up there. I'm not. No, they're not going to split up. But maybe, maybe around the corner. Maybe here. Maybe up there. Beautiful, sweet. If you wouldn't mind getting up there as well. Kraus, get ready to fall back super fast because we're actually going to need some assistance here. 
Okay, oh, oh, oh god, oh god, hopefully- Oh no, what are they doing? Oh, they're lighting my thing on fire. Kraus, get ready! Get ready, Kraus! Run! Run! They're gonna- they're gonna shoot you, Kraus! Oh god. Oh god! It's not working the way I thought it would. Alright, forget the plan! Everyone, attack! Attack! Give them some dwarven mayhem, especially me! A Where'd my weapon go? Why don't I have a weapon? What? Hey, by the way, what happened to my infect? Oh, I'm immune to it already. I didn't even- I forgot all about it. Completely immune to- Where the heck did my weapon go? Uh, I could have sworn I equipped that axe out there. And... Where the heck did it go? Where did- Did I get knocked out at some point? I don't think so, no. Huh. It's just gone. I- Oh, you know what? Who cares? I'm a dwarf. I'll just punch him with my fists! Ah, punch! Nice! Kraus already ripping dog attack. Or dog apart, rather. You guys come over here and take down Lion. Kraus has got this sweet big hit there with an arrow. Oh, Kraus is down, friends! Oh god, Swede is down! No! Okay, this is- this is- this is a job for me. I'm gonna have to get over here and punch Cheetah off of his wolf. Quickly, go, 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 go! Mooflet, you got this! Nice! Mooflet decapitated one of them on the way down. Whoo! Nine hours on Swede. Kraus had his left big toe destroyed. That's so unfortunate. Let's come over here to rescue Swede. I am not done with these fellows. Although, honestly, these axes aren't that bad. Huh. I wonder if I can chase down this guy on his- Oh, 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 yes I can! Get him! Get him, me! Kraus, nice, beautiful. He's gonna get back up. Okay, get that cheetah. Get him! Beautiful work! I think we're just attacking the actual wolf, though. Yeah, I'm punching the wolf! I'm riding up and punching the wolf. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at me! Brutally savage! Brutal, friends. Brutal. Oh god, I just got stabbed with a bow in my right leg, and that actually really hurt. Yeah, that guy got wrecked, though. He got wrecked for it. Should I go learn Cheetah a lesson? Nah, he's off the map. All right, get me off alert here. We're fine. We got dog down here. What do you got, dog? Actually, believe it or not, you got some fairly nice stuff there. Maybe we should strip that stuff in case we want some of it, right? Let's go strip dog the warrior. Beautiful. Bunch of heads literally removed. Just decapitated whoever the heck that was. Nice. Ripped off dog cl clothing so we can use that later. And we're looking pretty good here. What did they actually use? Iron Dwarf Battle Axe 9398. I don't really understand where my axe went, to be honest. And I'm just really busy, apparently, sitting here watching the sunset while I'm bleeding all over the place. Yeah, you know, dwarves have their priorities, friends. They've got their priorities. Swede's doing fine. Kraus, you're going to be fine. Mooflet's going to take care of all of you guys. No problem. Hey, while I'm going over, I'm going to go equip that axe just so I have one for the next time. That got a little bit scary there for a minute. Look at these ridiculous, like, boots. Like, what's up with that? Doe self-tamed. What is up with this game right now? All right, do re me into the animal zone for later. These animals have got to start starving soon. There's just, there's too little space for them to go. But hey, we're going to give all the pigs a bunch of fresh corpses in, in a minute. So that's not going to be bad. All right, well, for the time being, it seems like we're good, except for Kraus down here, who's dead in 16 hours, actually tending to Titan above himself. He's bleeding all over the place, but he's like, I don't care. Titan got a bruise. We got to keep Titan alive, quick. Bandage his, his bruise with our, our fists. Just punch the bruise out of him, I guess. That's how you do it when you're a dwarf. Meanwhile, Kraus is sitting here, literally bleeding all over Titan in the process. Don't worry about infections. Dwarves don't even know what infections mean. They're, like, immune to them completely. Now that I said that, watch someone die to an infection this episode. Oh, Kraus was incapacitated. Who saw that coming, friends? Who saw that coming? I'll go rescue Kraus. I got this. God, nice, nice work, Kraus. Just give us 8 million cleaning jobs there. To bruise, to pa or patch up a bruise on Titan. All right, medical emergency. It looks like just Kraus, major break risk, Mooflet, and myself. I'm working on that, of course. First, we got to take care of this. Boom. All good. Mooflet is hauling corpses. Yep, there we go. The pigs are having a field day with all these Hunam corpses. 
Verbal abuse on me from the intense pain. I'm angry. I'm an angry little dwarf. I'm like, why aren't all you other dwarves good at your job? That's right, sweet. Thumbs down. Learn to hold an axe and not get knocked out in the first three seconds, doofus. What am I saying over here? Social. I offered a backhanded compliment about Swede's son eating ha eating Swede's son's eating habits. <laughs> Basically, I'm calling his kid fat, I, I guess, or thin, because probably being thin is the bigger insult to a dwarf. Uh, I made fun of Swede's lovers. Oh, good lord! And Swede just said hello in, in true like Nordic fashion, and super polite. He doesn't care none about no insult to him. That's just you know everyday operation. I come out here, I spoke badly of Swede's brother's ambition. His whole family is the target of my rage right now. I'm like, Swede, how could your family produce such a bunch of non-axe-wielding infidels? Like, learn to chop heads. Chop them. Don't get knocked out all the time, doofus. What's up with Kraus, by the way? Oh, God, what just happened? Hold on. Better rest nine. Yeah, I did do that. I wanted to make sure I had done that. Uh, back over here, I subtly shame Swede's mining skill? What? I'm like, Swede, mine faster, you slowpoke. Can't believe you couldn't do that whole thing in one day. You missed two of them. Wow. Swede's just such a... He's just taking it. He's taking it like a champ. Swede conversed about with me about adventure. That's amazing. Swede remarked on being overbearing with me. Swede's trying to subtly hint that I might... I laughed at Swede's genitals. <laughs> Swede exchanged pleasantries with me. And I'm like, Swede, this isn't how you take an insult, friend. I'm, I'm really trying to get into a brawl with him. I'm doing everything I can. He's just being too polite. He's being way too polite. Yep, there's another one. I spoke negatively of Swede's skills. I'm just ch I'm chasing him down. Subtly shames Swede's honor. Sweet, I've insulted everything. Your mother, your brother, your son's eating habits. Your honor, your genitals, for God's sakes, put up a fight. You know, you know, Swede. You know you can't handle it. That's why you're not doing it. You see something, you fall down immediately three seconds into the battle. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there. I ran around on a boar, punching people out with my fists. You had an axe, fucking sakes. You're getting what you deserve right now. Learn to mine, you loser. <laughs> Why am I just sitting here getting into character? Here I come, here I come, what am I gonna do? Uh, it looks like Swede greeted me in passing, again. And I made fun of Swede's self-control, that's it. Now I'm gonna insult Swede's emotional stability. I'm like, Swede, why? you must be a moron because you can't realize what's happening right now. Swede just wanders off, completely irrelevant. <laughs> This is ridiculous. What, what did I just sweet as a negative 22 opinion of me? Hmm. Seems about right. How much longer am I going to be? Oh, now I'm hitting on Kraus. Oh, I ran in there and I screamed at Kraus. I laughed at Kraus's beliefs. I'm like, Kraus, you stupid dwarf. Why do you think we're so short? I don't know. And Kraus is like, ah, I don't get it. I'm in a mental state now. Days. Boy, that was the longest insulting spree I think I've ever seen anyone ever go on. Good lord, that was like 15 minutes of non-stop insults. Uh, what's happening down here? Swede's carrying corpses, that's, yeah, that's set to very high priority. Mufut's doing the same thing, beautiful. Now, I want to get some progress here. We've just been going backwards this whole time. We gotta go rest up. Two people went on mental breaks, that's gonna be done pretty soon. In the morning, Mooflet is fully healed. That's fantastic. Hauling Gazelle to the... Oh, bloody hell! All of my Gazelles rotted! Ah, oh, what a waste! One, two, three, four, five, six of them! Gone! What happened to all their planes leather? We got 46... I, only, I think I only actually butchered one of them. Well, on the plus note... Uh, let's see. We got a doe over here ripe for the murder, and we've got an ibex doe ripe for the murder. A beautiful. Speaking of, it appears to me no one's ever doing these things. Who's our animal hand? It doesn't really matter. Honestly, it should probably be Mooflet. Let's get her on handling. Let's get Slaughter up on like a three. And that looks good. Just someone always make sure that gets done. We need more animals. There we go. Now she's she has to haul all these rotting corpses. Didn't even think about that. I should have gone in there and prioritized butchering really quick. What a waste. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them have rotted. We only have five meals, too. So, well, that's unfortunate. 
Mooflet's moods right now could not be worse. Especially Psychite Binge on Mooflet. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. An elven healer named Belba calls you from nearby. She's being chased by bandit dwarfs from Dwarven Bandits. <laughs> Thanks for the explanation. 13 dwarf thieves. Yeah, we're in no, pay no place, first of all, to handle that. Secondly, never taking Psycho Bass. And thirdly, no elves. Ignore. Good luck. All right, Mooflet, what kind of Psychite are you even binging on? I think there was a bunch of tea. Is she going to go drink all the tea? I think so. Someone dropped tea, and that's the, that's the binge she went on. What a waste. What an unfortunate, unfortunate... Mad buck now. Where the heck is this at? Okay, that's coming up towards me. Fortunately, I'm in here, and I can just be like, yo, let's mount the Titan. Titan, you ready to roll? You ready to roll? We got business to attend to. Murder the bad buck! Whoa, it's whoa! It's actually attacking the one we want to kill. What the heck? What a weird thing. All right, well, there we go. Huh. Now I'm going to go butcher the wolf. Okay, good. Well, that was just a stroke of luck. Starvation on Kraus. Yeah, because he's on a mental break. Yeah, wait, just this, half the colony's been on a mental break this episode. There's some butchering. Now I'm going to go cook a simple meal. It's going to be very, very inefficient, though, because I'm going to do it, like, one at a time. Yeah, I just hauled one meat. One single meat. I'm not seriously hauling one meat at a time, am I? Because if so, I might need to move these things around. There we go. I just did nine. Now I'm going to go haul some more, which is a complete waste of time. Once we get on top of hauling, though, you know what we can do? Uh, let's get Mooflet and Kraus, maybe, hauling. Oh, we don't have refactored work priorities, whatever it is. I was going to say that's haul rottable, but that's not a thing. Oh, I wish that mod was updated. It allows you to haul things that rot. All right, well, there we go. By the way, so we're 47 minutes in. I figured since I'm only doing one episode every other day, rather than doing five episodes a week, um, I'm going to do them slightly longer. So I'll do like 55 an episode instead of 45, but they'll only be three a week instead of five. So it'll work out to similar, but it'll just be much easier to produce, I think. God, what a waste of time this is for me right here, going back and back and forth. I'm really hoping we can get a little bit more. Oh, this is nice. I love to see everyone in here having a good time. Having a good time, yeah. Yeah, I gotta do something. I got what I might need to do actually is move. We're gonna have to move the cooking thing down here. We're going to have to put in some light in there because we're going to be in there quite frequently. Let's put in a Dwarven box. We'll make it out of... We actually... Never mind. We do have wood. I was going to say we have no wood. We got some. We'll do that. We're going to reinstall the salted box down here as well. And then... We'll figure some stuff out in a minute. So whatever stockpiles I had here and here, we've got to delete. Incapacitated refugee quest. Nob contacts you and requests help. He is wounded and unable to move. Without your help, he will die in 10 days. He's a 36-year-old elf lord who promises to join us. He's a sedentary, sedentary wimp. Delete. Good luck, Nob. Uh, Kraus, did you ever get around to planting up here? Nope, still waiting on that one. I feel like pretty much nothing has gotten done this entire episode. We, we have the same number of meals as when we started. Manhunter pack. Meow. All right, we got four elk. Well, this isn't so bad. Let's have me come down here and mount Titan. Rest of you guys get an alert up near these traps. We're going to have to bait these guys like champs. All right, so Kraus, get there. Swede, get over here. Wait, Swede, you don't, have a, you don't have a weapon again, Swede? Get down here and equip that Norval axe. Kraus, you don't have one either. God, everyone lost their weapons. Kraus, go equip that, that axe. Mooflet's got hers. Beautiful. She can stay right here. Hopefully you guys get this done and come back in time. Okay, Kraus, I think, got his. Yeah, he did. Let's get him up there. Beautiful. Swede got his up there. Beautiful. They're coming through the main tunnel here. Okay, I'm mounting Titan. Oh, wait. No, come on. Put me on alert. Get me back on Titan. Oh, God, no. Alert. M no, no, don't melee attack. Oh, good Lord. I don't understand. Melee attack Titan. Mount Titan while on alert. That's what I want. Okay, finally. This is going to be potentially brutal. Make sure all of you guys are in the right place. They're going to come in pretty quick. 
Oh, one of them stepped on one trap. That's good. And I'm now in position here. Let's get me up to go slabber jabber one of these guys in the back. Here they come. Oh, they went around. They went around. This one's going after Swede. Beautiful. That one hit that trap as well. Get over there, Kraus. We don't have time to wait. We don't have time to wait. Mufa, get in there. These things are serious business. Oh, God. Swede's already down. Swede's down. I'm coming in. I'll save the colony from the men on the back. Yeah. Dwarven of aggression. Murder all help. Yes. Woo. All right. Let's see if we can actually butcher these guys this time. Poor Sweet. <laughs> He's just taking the beating. He's taking the physical and mental. He got bitten in the head by an elk. <laughs> the elk tried to just eat his head right off. Imagine if that had worked. It would have been hilarious. Is everyone else fine at this point? Like, good lord. We're just not in a good way right now. <sighs> all right. Let's finish off all these things. I don't know if anyone's ever going to get around to doing that. I'm going to bandage up everyone here. Krauss, you're doing God's work hauling all these bucks around. Nice. We actually murdered a bunch of our animals. Well, this guy didn't even get hauled. I, I, I'm so unhappy about all of that. But hey, look, we actually don't have too many issues. If I could just finish up a little bit of little bit of some things here, like Mooflet just craft some items. We get rid of Tattered Apparel. Thank you, Kraus, for hauling those guys around. Now I'm butchering like the wind, unfortunately. Okay, Mooflet, come over here and prioritize refueling. No, here's what I need to do. Get me on alert. Mooflet, come over here to prioritize refueling. I thought I set this to be reloc... Oh, you know how you do it? I think you click on me and click on this, right? On alert, prioritize working on the fueled stove. There we go. That's what I want to do. Let's get Mooflet to quickly, since she's here, clean the room up. Okay, try again. It always needs to be done twice for whatever reason to actually clean the room. Beautiful. Now that that's taken care of, let's have her come down here and put in this salted whatever it is. I don't I want to make sure this never happens again. And then lastly, is there a place over here for meat? We can actually store to this for meat of all kinds. Uh, I don't want that to be uncritical, though. We'll put that on, like, preferred. And then this one over here should be important. Clear all. Just meat, but not salted meat. And I th think... Is that going to work the way... I don't think that's going to work the way that I want, but even so... This is 10 times better than it used to be. I mean, we're making meals for days here. The only problem, of course, is that I don't have uh, a zone. Let's just literally expand the zone a little bit. Beautiful. Now they'll be at least counted as part of the thing. By the way, we've only got four people. That's eight meals that we eat per day, 16, 24, and we're making 20. So that's good. We stopped at just the right time. Whoops. And I just deleted my cram bill for no good reason. Let's prepare more cram. Do forever. Uh, drop on the floor. This requires meat and vegetables, which we don't have. Now, can we salt all these meats is my question. Because if the meats got put over here on important priority, then maybe I could make a new zone over here, I think. And this zone could be on a critical, clear all, salted meat. Right? So meats here, I think this would go from preferred over there, and then down over there. We'd have to find out, though, to make sure. All right, so I'm going to haul that thing over. Krauss, really quickly, could you haul the elk? I just want to see if this works. What are you, are you hauling it over? Yeah, I didn't... Okay, let's delete these old grows, or these old zones. My mistake there. And then, Kraus, if you wouldn't mind hauling this venison... Ah, he puts it in... In the salted area, prioritizing hauling the salted venison, and... It's then salted, but then it spoils in two days. Oh, I see. So you actually need to keep it, even though it's salted. Salted venison 13. Let's come over here to prioritize hauling that. Let's see what happens here. This one's going to spoil in 28 days. Ah, okay. Now that I understand how this works, I can make it functional. So let's build a copy of these things. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and we'll make six, seven. And then once those are done, those should cut out the stockpiles. You can actually delete that stockpile. Beautiful. And we'll have this stock. This will just be basically for mostly, I think, corpses, right? We can put it... Um, priority normal is fine, yeah. So raw food of all kinds. And that should do it, I think. 
Oh, also, animal corpse is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Swede. Oh God, no! Why are they getting moved down here? I just put I just put that up over here. This should be on low priority. I think we just hauled our things. Yeah, this is low. We had animal corpses. This one up here should not allow rotten. Beautiful. Take that off. Ah, well. It takes effort to get things going the right way. Mooflet's in a really good mood right now, though. Check this out. Catharsis of a 40. Rest going up. Low expectations. Recreation fully satisfied. We're actually doing some work here. I'm still chopping these guys up. Beautiful. Meat for thousands of years if we can manage to get these things put together. It's going to take quite a bit of wood, which we don't necessarily have. Swede's on compulsion from intense pain. He's just cleaning everything. Nice. Mooflet's working on all these uh, salted pots. So by default... They do allow rotten. They allow manufactured medicine. What the heck is all? Let's clear everything out of this. Let's put on um, raw food, meat, not, I guess, I guess any kind of meat, and we'll make it critical. Let's copy those settings, and then hopefully when Mooflet gets done here, we can just grab all these guys, paste the settings. Beautiful. Paste the settings. All right, we got more meat than we could shake a stick at here. And we got a lighted place full of beautiful things. Mulfit, are you working on finally crafting our new pants? Oh, thank God, yes. Ooh, we got the dwarven meat, friends. He's got 10 more of it, or five more of it, whatever it is. Kraus is on a, he's on a mission. What's he up to? Hauling recurve bow. Oh, I guess he's just cleaning up. There's still a lot of cleanup to do here. Nice, Kraus, I think, just filled the meat again. Yes, he did. That's nice. Mooflet's still hauling all the weapons and gear all around. We're just catching up. I'm making some more warts. I'm now working on floors, because apparently I've done everything else and we're good on the, the meals. God, there's a lot of hauling, but we're getting it all done is the thing. Kraus, what are you up to? Hauling order. You know what? Here, here's the thing I don't understand. Why do these things allow sewing? They're on. Why is Kraus hauling over sewing? Growing of a five, plant cut on a four. Hauling corpses, sure. But five and a four is above everything except for unload carriers, load carriers, rearm traps, stripped corpses, and haul corpses. Not sure what a carrier is, but literally growing and plant cutting are above all of that. So let's just hope he starts doing it today. Kraus, why are you wearing that weird human hat? You, mm, I guess I have to make better things, really. I think all that meat's gonna rot. I could probably make more more um more things. Whoo! Salted elk meat. 30 days, 30 days. Yes, yes, beautiful. Still so much more of it though. But there's just no room in I could make like a whole thing in the middle. We could walk around, actually, if I really wanted to. Grab one of these things, build a copy of it like here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. And then hopefully Mooflet will get that done. By the way, completely and 100% out of wood, because, you know, that that never is an issue in any of my games. There we go. Dwarven Goods Trader. All right, hopefully we can sell them all the goods we got from those other dwarves. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Now meals are no longer becoming an issue. This is exactly what I like to see. Hey, guys. Mooflet, you're riding to job. Looks like you're going to go build all those things. While you're over there, if you wouldn't mind trading with our... How do I... Where... Oh, there's one up here. Leary. Let's go trade with Leary of the Dwarven Goods. Elf doll dwarf mate. No, thank you. What do we want to do with these guys? Well... Hmm. We could sell them some of our elk meat because it's probably going to rot. But then again, I think we're making new ones, so it probably won't rot then. We could definitely sell them all this, like, random beaten up nonsense. Cloth pants. Eh, they're actually pretty okay. <gasps> Look at these weird, ugly elven helmets, huh? Ooh, let's sell this stupid dog leather tribal boots, tribal wraps. Oh, the belt! I forgot about the belt and it's rotted! Cloth summer cape. We should probably keep that. As I recall, those are those are not bad. Wow, we don't have anything to sell these guys. Where the heck is our belt? Oh, it's right there! Uh, I'm gonna go up there and forswear the belt. I completely forgot about that. Beautiful. Uh-oh, it's starting to snow. Hard snow outside. 
This means we're gonna have no vegetables for the winter unless we can get Kraus working on sowing the plants. He did do plant cutting there, but now look, he's doing hauling. What the heck, Kraus? Why won't you come up here? Allow sowing earth bread. Allow sowing earth bread. Oh, is it because of the growing period? Bad seasonal temperature. Oh, God. All right, here's what we've got to do. Oh, it's already been 60 minutes. God, this is a long episode. All right, let me do a couple more. Quick. I'm just going to set this up the proper way. So let's do a Dwarven Grand Gate. Um, we can make it out of steel. We have zero right now, but we can get more. Ooh, we could do limestone, huh? I doubt that's 500 limestone. No, thank you. Let's do steel Dwarven Gate. We'll put it here. I think. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then, we're gonna have to do structure, wall. We can continue the limestone wall, like here and here. Okay, awesome. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to do that and this as well. And then down here, basically we want to do that, that. We want to get one of these dwarven steel reinforced doors. We'll put it right there. That should... Build the bounded roof area. If we can just build that up to this, that should enclose this, and then we can actually grow there. But to make this happen, we need steel. To make steel happen, we need someone making the steel. Mooflet's the only one, realistically, who's going to be doing that. However, she's currently patching up our tunics and our pants here. By the way, tattered apparel. It's almost gone. Did I get new pants? No, I just got rid of my old... I just ripped my old pants off. I'm like, eh. I don't need those pants. I ate them. I guess actually it's just my helmet that I'm missing right now. And so once we're done here with Mooflet, I think... Oh, she actually started putting on... Ooh, she put on the new... Uh, she dropped her old tunic and put on the new one. But we, someone can still use that, so she's good as far as that's concerned. She looks good, though. She looks really good with that plains leather board of tunic. Now she's working on all these things, which is fantastic. Let's grab this thing here. Select similar, all of you guys. Paste those settings in here. Then all of our meats will be salted and stored. And then let's see if we can't get Kraus over here. Just because I'm worried about this meat. Just haul all the elk meat really quickly so it doesn't rot to death. Okay, Kraus, one more time. Kraus, what? Kraus, Kraus, please. One more time. There we go. And then I'm not sure. Yeah, that one's going to probably rot. Ooh, you know what we could actually do? Haul that plains leather. Wanderer join. <gasps> Friends! Damfer is a dwarf blacksmith and wandering near your colony. Thinking you may need someone to join the colony. Damfer's 120 years old. Out with the old blacksmith, in with the new. Incapable of cooking and plant work. He's a xenophile. Does that mean he loves the elves? Ugh. Damfer. Oh, God, no. And then also, he's sedentary. I don't know what that means. He is a passionate for shooting, melee, crafting, intellectual. Welcome to the colony, Damfer. Hey, buddy. Soon to be renamed. You know what? I think in the next episode, we're going to rename Damfer instead of doing it right now. By the way, there's a random axe. that Damfer's going to actually grab for us on the way. Going to go grab some pants and whatnot. Now we're going to have a blacksmith, friends. Check it out. Crafting on a nine. Another melee blacksmith who can even do some intellectual. We're back in the game. Whew. Back in the game. That means Mufla can stop doing that and worry about hauling. Because there is a lot of hauling jobs to do. We got to cr quickly craft this up and get it going for the winter for sure. That's going to be like how we're going to survive. We're going to get some fireplaces up there. We need more wood. We need steel. You know what we can also do next episode is dig this out, I believe, because Swede's going to have nothing to do. Lots of progress. Believe it or not, actual progress this episode. Like, this is just a straight-up net gain. We did have a little bit of a hairy situation there, but we've got food now going into the winter. We're about to have a grow zone. We've got tons of salted meats that are going to last us a long time. I think all of our wounds, yeah, literally every single... Well, no, Swede... Still beaten up a little bit, but he's pretty close, actually. Give him, like, another two, three minutes, he'll be healed to full. Everyone else is healed to full. That's a good episode. I mean, it might be a little boring. Because nothing really super dangerous happened, but whoo! Progress. Progress to be... And we get husses! Someone, that means we can probably get someone working on uh, training them now that we have someone else to do... Yeah, Moofly can probably do it, right? Animal handling of an eight. Sweet as a 15. Well, he'd be better at it, but he can also mine. 
I guess when we come back, we can train these animals up. Assuming they eat simple meals or something, I'm not even sure what we would feed them. Maybe that's what's holding us back. Then we can mine out this entire place. We can move our bedrooms down there to get this wall, get our defenses done. Many, many, many things to happen in the next episode, and surely nothing will go wrong. In any event, that's it for this episode. When's we returning? More stuff. Hey, I'm just looking at this over here. Medical. There we go. Now we have a bed for the soon-to-be-renamed Damfer. Ooh, and we get Dwarven Mead next episode, yes. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. He's just taking it. He's just taking it like a champ. Swede conversed about, with me about adventure. That's amazing. Swede remarked on being overbearing with me. Swede tried to subtly hint that I might... I laughed at Swede's genitals. <laughs> Swede exchanged pleasantries with me. And I'm like, Swede, this isn't how you take an insult, friend.